Welcome back, future doctors and medical enthusiasts. You ready to drop a million dollars in medical school resources? <laughs> Neither am I, but here are some of the best online resources I've found that don't cost nearly as much as a million dollars. Stay here and I'll show you what money can buy in order to help you become the amazing doctor that you dreamt of. Hey guys, my name is Julio Ambris and I've been in medical school now for two years. And then within those two years, it's taught me a ton, especially when it comes to buying resources in medical school. I've made some great purchases and some not so great purchases. I'll walk you through what I've learned so you don't have to make the same mistakes I did and save your money for more important things like treating yourself and having fun. <laughs> all right, guys. Now the real question is, should you buy all of the resources I'm gonna mention? If money is no object for you, then yeah, sure, go for it. If you're living off a college student budget like me, then I'll give you some tips on which ones are absolutes. I'll be showing you the cost of each resource by year. Now, of course, you can do different time frames. It just depends on what you buy. Now, before we get started, I want to make sure that you guys know I am not affiliated or I do not get paid, unfortunately, by any of these resources. But basically, I'm really just here to share what I found and my colleagues have found to be super helpful. Now let's go ahead and get started with the first three resources I wanna talk about. These ones are actually gonna be video resources. Now, I know some of you are not like visual learners, but this is meant for everyone. There's been studies time and time again showing that creating visual mnemonics or hooks are what helps students learn the best. To be honest, I've lost count of how many times I've been in an exam and remember an answer for a question just because of one of these video resources. They're a lifesaver for me. Plus, it makes learning a lot more interesting. So let's go ahead and get started with the three video resources that I recommend. The first video resource that I recommend is Sketchy. Now, if you don't know what Sketchy is, it's an online resource that is basically full of animated videos that teach high yield topics in medical school. Now it's interactive and has quizzes over those videos. Now they have different sets of videos by topic. The main set of videos cover pathology, pharmacology, and micro. For me, it's definitely a must have. If you listen to any second year medical students or even tutors, they all mention Sketchy because of its simplicity. All right, so now the price. A one year subscription to all of these resources is a one time payment of $399.99, or you can go the monthly route by paying $33.33 a month. The second video resource I wanna talk about is Pixarize. So this is another animated resource that has high yield topics, including biochemistry, immunology, pharmacology, microbiology, and neuroanatomy. So this resource is strictly videos, but it has written summaries at the bottom of each video. Pixarize is really helpful because they're actually constantly updating and adding new videos all the time. For example, like when I first started medical school, they had only three topics out of the five that I mentioned. They're making new videos all the time and there are tons of them as well. The nice thing about this is the cost. The one year subscription is only $200. Now the cost doesn't include question banks, but it definitely still is a good one. Now guys, if you like the video so far, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the little bell so you can get more videos just like this. All right guys, the last video resource I wanna to talk to you guys about was Pathoma. This resource is great because it actually includes a textbook along with your online videos. So you'll get mailed a textbook and you can have that forever. These videos are strictly pathophysiology, which is actually pretty great because when you start getting that information on the pathophysiology section of each topic, this one lays out all the high yield parts. I love this resource and it made my second year of med school so much easier. The only drawback to the textbook is that they don't offer a PDF version, but if you like physical copies, this has your name written all over it. Since this resource is a textbook and only videos, it doesn't cost as much as the other resources. This one comes out to be $99.95 for a year subscription, which is pretty good considering how great the videos are and you get to keep the textbook forever. Now we've covered all of the video resources, so let's talk about the other types of resources that I have. I have two question bank resources for you. So these question banks are amazing. You need to make sure that you have them. They are an absolute when it comes to medical school students, especially when you're studying for your board exams, especially step one. Let's go ahead and start with the first question bank resource I have for you, and it's called Amboss. This question bank is really nice because it actually has more than just questions. It has videos, CT, MRI, X-ray images, layovers for those images, tons of questions, and they rank their questions by difficulty. So one of the nice things is they have pre-made lesson plans, or you can make your own lesson plans or own quizzes based on different topics. 
they basically have uh, like mini lectures or mini lessons for each topic as well and those are super integrative for example if you're looking at staph aureus you'll have be able to click on a link that takes you to the con cardiac conditions of staph aureus or the skin conditions related to staph aureus it's really nice because it sort of integrates everything each one of these mini lectures actually have quizzes on them so every time you finish a mini lecture you can just quiz yourself over all the information that you just learned which is really awesome the cost of this one is variant depending on how you set it up but if you were to just do the one year of everything, it would come out to be about 388 bucks. Now, one of the cool things that, about Amboss is they actually let you do group discounts for your school, which is really sweet because I did a group discount for my school and I ended up getting all these things and getting a lifetime like med school career for around 500 plus dollars, like around 500 something dollars, which was really nice because the one year is 388, but I have it for four years now. It's a sweet deal. So if you can go ahead and set up a Facebook group or something where you start bringing people in to create that discount, it'll save you so much money and it'll stay with you the whole the rest of your med school career. Now the final resource I have for you that's also a question bank uh, resource is called UWorld. UWorld is amazing. It has tons of questions. It has a, what 3,500 plus questions in it and they are super close and represent really well the step one uh, questions. So your board exam questions. This is a double-edged sword, right? Because the level of the questions are a lot harder, but they prepare you better for your step examination. Now, along with the questions, they have notebooks that you can make in there. They have flashcards. They have performance evaluations on all the stuff that you do. Similar to Amboss, they let you create your own quizzes based on systems, subject, or topics. They also have two full practice step one exams that you can use within your subscription for the year. This resource is amazing, it's super good, but just because it is a double-edged sword, I would not recommend that you get this your first year. To be honest, I would recommend that you get it on your last semester of your second year because you're getting so close to getting ready for your step and your dedicated study this is the resource you need to use for that. The reason is because it requires a strong foundation of your basic sciences to get really get a good use out of these questions. Let's talk about the cost. The cost of this is a bit pricey, but I think it's because of how good their material is. It costs about $519 for a year subscription, which sounds like a lot, but it's definitely worth it. All right, that was a lot of information, so let's go ahead and sum that up for you. Here are my top three video resources and their costs. Number one, Sketchy Medical. For the year subscription is $399.99. Number two is Pixarize. For the year subscription, it's only $200. Number three is Pathoma. Pathoma's year subscription is $99.95. And like I mentioned earlier, I would recommend these to anyone, regardless if you're a visual learner or not a visual learner. These visual hooks are gonna be everything you need to make sure you master your med school experience. Now to finish up, you have your last two resources, which are your practice questions or your question banks. Now these two are an absolute necessity. You have two different ones. The first one I mentioned was Amboss. Recommend getting on a group, discount for that one. The second one is UWorld. Now Amboss year subscription is about 388 bucks. UWorld year subscription is about $519 expensive but definitely worth it all right if you stay with me this far you know what time it is it's bonus tip time all right for today's bonus tip I'm gonna give you my suggestions on the absolutes out of all the resources that I've mentioned today first of all I would recommend if you're gonna pay money for anything in medical school you need to get those two question banks that I mentioned now I know they cost a lot but hey, you're investing in your future. These are very important, especially when you're preparing for your step one exam and any of your board's exams. These are gonna be your guiding path into understanding how to do practice questions and what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong, what subjects you're good in and what subjects you're not. If you're gonna buy one right off the bat, Amboss is one that I would recommend because it actually has different levels of difficulty and that way you can actually set it up to where when you're first learning about something, you can put everything to the first level of difficulty. So you're not going over really difficult questions and you're actually testing over basics. Now, I would recommend that you actually get the full lifetime one if you can. If you can't afford that or you're not able to do a group study, whatever it may be, then get it for at least the first year or two years maximum. You need to be doing practice questions because that's the best way to actually test where you are and your understanding of your material. All right, so now that you've purchased Amboss or if you're thinking about buying Amboss, I would recommend getting that first if you're gonna buy the other question bank I would recommend that you get you world this one I only recommend getting at the end of your second year and include the full practice length exams 
Remember, you need this one specifically for your step exam. This one is gonna be really close to it and it'll let you know how good you actually are. Now, as for the video resources, if you could, buy them all. If you can't, and if you could only buy one video resource from medical school, I recommend that you get Sketchy because it covers most, if not all, the main topics you need. And if you can afford one more, then hey, go ahead and purchase Pathoma as well. All right, guys, one thing I can promise you is if you take this information to heart, not only will you know exactly what you need to buy for your medical school resources, but you're gonna be able to master and do super well on your M1, M2, or your first two years of medical school and ace your step examination. Now, as always, I'm always interested in see what you use uh, for your medical school studies and what resources you have. So comment below what you tend to use and let me know. I'm really interested in what you find to be helpful for you. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you and kept your money safe. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video so I can keep making these videos just for you. And don't forget, you'll never know what you learn when you think medical. See you next time. Thank you.